Whoops. Why is that door open? <laughs> oh, I swear to God, all of that worked yesterday. Anyhow, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to a little video on an elevator that I've built, and I swear it worked yesterday. I'm certain that it did. It's just that's just weird. Let's see. All right. Anyhow, um, this is my my little elevator right here. That I've built. Uh, you can send it to any floor you like. Let's send it to the first floor. You see the doors close as they should and it's going just to the first floor. And let's go to the first floor. That's the first floor. It's gonna stop in a second. See it stopped. Now the platform is going to extend. There you go. And you can walk out. And that works for any any floor and you can uh, um, you can call it from any floor. Let's call it to the second floor for example. Go like this. See it comes right up. Doo -doo -doo. It's just a little dangerous because you don't have uh, like a door here or anything to prevent you from falling into the elevator shaft as of this moment but you know I like to live dangerously um, and in this video I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how you can build an elevator like this um, hopefully a little more functional than I have built it Let's see, back to the third floor maybe that's the third floor floor problem maybe that's something I can I can fix easily cuz that's weird why would the doors be open when it's not there yet it's supposed to be... Well, I'll show you in a second how that works. Um, for now, we'll just see if it works. And... Come on. Yeah, the timer set to 30 seconds, so it's... Yeah, there you go. Doors open, platform extends. So yeah, that, that's, that works. Weird. Uh, another issue I have with this is when you want to go to the first floor, or the, the ground floor from third floor, you have to um, remove the pistons, or the platforms, first. Um, from all the other floors, it does that automatically. Why that is, you will see in a second, as I'll start building this. Oops, jump and jump. All right, now to recreate this, uh, you're gonna have to start with a sort of block in the ground, which has to be submerged under your ground level. I'll get to that in a second, and you wanna give it a power supply, like so. Uh, and um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna use mirrors here um, for symmetry. Symmetry is always cool. Then you wanna know how many levels you're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna go with ground level and three above that, so four in total, which means we're gonna need four pistons. 
So far, so good. Uh, now we're gonna use a little rod, basically, up here. Oh, don't need to do that all the way. That's fine. And then we're gonna build the platform for our um, elevator itself. I'm gonna use these blocks at the uh, the half slope blocks um, for the corners or for the edges. Um, that'll just give me a little bit more uh, space to work with. And we're gonna have a 3x3 three three platform, like so. Actually, let me just... It's probably better if we center that. So, let's remove these again. Remove these again. And uh, throw down the half slope blocks, like so. Uh, half light armor blocks for the platform itself. Again, I don't know if you need to do that, but um, from my experience, that has has worked uh, uh, pretty well. I'm gonna just finish off the platform like so. I'm gonna put in um, these corner blocks. You, you can you probably use other types of blocks. I just I just like the way that looks. That, and we're gonna need obviously gonna be needing windows. That, that, like that, and slap down these doors. I know that they don't, they're not a perfect fit here. Um, honestly, I basically don't ever use these doors anymore. Because, let's be honest, they are, they never really fit. Like, even with half blocks or with window blocks, they just it just doesn't work for some reason, and I don't know why they built that door uh, the way they did when they did it. But you know, they must have had some sort of plan with that, right? Let's go with another set of corner blocks here. All right, cool. That's our little uh, cabin sort of thing. Give that a roof as well. Oop. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now we're gonna need the ground level. For that, we're going to go sort of here, and we're just gonna go a slight bit higher than the cabin is at the moment. The reason being is uh, gonna we're gonna use the the other piston here, the first one to sort of um, bridge that gap, right? Okay, let's finish that. Add these. Okay, now you see how the, um, the elevator is a little bit too low. Um, we're just going to need, first of all, um, right, sorry. Let's just extend this one. Because you, cause you see how there's a little gap here. You don't want that gap because uh, then you always fall through and that kind of sucks. Because uh, I think that's probably far enough to hurt you. Yeah. Once you reach uh, 30 meters per second as a player character, you take damage. So, don't want that. Now I'm just going to add these little um, railings as sort of half platforms. In my experience, they, they work for the ground level, but just the ground level. And then we're gonna need um, this baby. And we're gonna have to name the piston. I like to go with, like, elevator one. There we go. Okay. Um, I, I like to use a sort of manual approach for this. Set a minimum dif distance here of five meters for now. And we're gonna go um, elevator one. Uh, decrease minimum distance and reverse. That way we can sort of gauge how far down we can go. Like so. All right, coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. 
Oh, just a little, little further, a little further, a little further, a little further. One more. Perfect. That should do. Yeah, there you go. Now you can walk in and out of the elevator. No problem. That's ground level now. So let's add like a little screen here with a zero on it. So you know it's level zero. Takes and images. Load up to size 10. Align it cent center. And that's just for, for our little orientation. Okay. Now to the next piston. We're gonna name this one Elevator 2. And we're gonna reverse. And that's gonna give you. It's gonna go with the sort of three blo blocks um, above this one. So you'll end up with um, three block levels. And. Should. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. But you see, the problem right now is that um, I, I can't just add a static platform like that here because the elevator would ram into it on its way up. So, what I've done on the other side, or in the elevator in the other building, is I've added um, pistons that extend a sort of platform out. To do that, just give them like a little frame, like so. I could probably just use, yeah, just go like like this. Um, is, it, is it even now? Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna need another piston here. There we go. Rip. Okay. And we're going to add a blast door block in a bright visible color, so you know it's dangerous. Dangerous. Like that. And then we're just gonna throw down... Let's, uh, let's extend this for a bit, so we don't block ourselves here. And then we're just gonna throw down a platform. There we go, like so. Up. Again, I'm just I'm just making like a basic 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 build um, to uh, so I don't have to uh, explain too much. Um, is it the same as it is over there? I'm just gonna have to look. Because in that case, I can just use the same settings. Uh, in reality, it took me a little bit of time to figure out just how far uh, they could go back and forth. So here we have one block distance, and uh, maximum distance is 3.6 meters. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we'll call this one Piston Platform 1A. And we'll give this a maximum distance of 3.6. And a max velocity. It just rammed right in there. Great. Okay. Yeah, but that works. Okay. Um, it's gonna be piston platform 1B. Same maximum distance, same velocity. There we go. Add these into the group platform 1 pistons.
Uh, to make the elevator go to the level that you want it to, you need nothing than uh, nothing more than two timer blocks per level. So right now we have uh, one, two, three, four levels. Is that right? Yeah. So we're gonna need uh, a total of eight timer blocks. Now I've placed ten. That's, that's cool. That's cool. Um. And we're gonna need a button panel here for obvious reasons. And now the setup for the timer blocks is crucial. We're gonna name them. Um, it's gonna be level zero and level zero arrive. This one's gonna be 30 seconds. Level zero is gonna do the following things. We're gonna have to go to elevator um, all of these have to be retracted. Retracted, retracted, retracted. Then we're gonna have to go to the groups. We have to retract all of these as well. There you go. Uh, we're gonna want to close the doors, obviously, when you press that button. We're gonna um, start that one and. That's it for that level. Okay, I think. I think. Okay. Um, let's go to level zero. Arrive. Set of actions. We're just gonna open these two two, two doors. Okay. Let's keep that open. Let's. Zero trigger now. In theory, this should just yeah. See, it closes the door. Sends us down there very slowly. Individually opens the doors. I think for the um, elevator that I've put in the building there, I uh, probably increased the piston speed. We are not on ground level. Which makes me think we probably didn't name all of the pistons. Yeah. That's... Failure 4. Where's that baby? Okay. Level 0. Set up actions. 4. Retract. There we go. And you're gonna do the same for um, all of the levels. Um, timer. It's gonna be level one. It's gonna be level one arrive. Again, set to 30 seconds. Set up actions. Elevator. Now, for this one, we need this one retracted. This one. This one retracted. This one extended. And this one retracted. Yeah. Like that. I think. Right, set of actions, more actions, we need more actions. Uh, close that one, close that one. Retract all of these so you don't hit the cabin against them. And start arrive one. Okay, arrive one obviously is gonna open these. And up the name and extend that. Okay, let's go. Let's give that a test ride again. Uh -huh. Level one. Trigger now. And bloop. Do, 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 do. 
Cue elevator music. Cue elevator music. Cue it now. Doop 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. Cue the elevator music. Cue the elevator music. And we've arrived at the correct level. Yep, that's level one. This is gonna extend. Door is gonna open and you can walk out like so. Um, one more thing you can do, which is very helpful, is uh, place a call button. To do that, it's just really simple. Just go throw down a button panel, like so, and have the corresponding devle uh, timer block for trigger now here. Let me show you that on the ground floor. We already have a button panel here. Neat. Or just for symmetry. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's go here and have level zero here. And uh, trigger now. Boop. You can see the elevator is coming down. It's just going to wait here for a bit for the timer to run out. Eventually the door is going to open. Yeah, I could I could totally open the door myself, but what's the point of that? What's the point of building like the timer system if you're just going to open the doors yourself? Huh? Yeah, thought so. There you go, door opens. You can get in, you can get to the third floor. In style! I'm gonna reduce the timer on the arrive thingamajigs. That doesn't need to be that long. Oh, there we go. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my elevator tutorial. I hope that, um, you were able to take something away from this and maybe I'm gonna see some more intricate elevators in the future. The next step is obviously to build a um, Star Trek-like turbo lift that can traverse uh, horizontally and vertically at the same time. Um, <laughs> looking forward to seeing solutions in that. I've actually seen people build that in real life, like um, a Star Trek-like turbo lift. Uh, but, you know, it's obviously something different in space engineers. And I'd also like to see this on the spaceship, where you can move in an elevator while the ship is moving. Well, obviously not um, above the speed limit, because once you reach like a certain speed, the piston's not going to move anymore. I think that's like... Does it have that? Don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah, but I think this is a pretty cool system. It's simple enough. Um, and it works just fine. Alright, thanks for watching. Again, um, if you enjoyed this, leave me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, tell me how I can improve. And if you want to become part of a crew that gets to fly in this bad boy over there, um, come to my Discord and see how you can become a part of that. Bye!